Hey guys, welcome to Windy Studio. And yes, I'm back with another great exciting tutorial. And if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon. So with that note, let's jump into the tutorial. So here we are in Photoshop. First thing first, let's create a work comp. So for that, go to File, click on New, and I'm using this letter size. So select this one and click on Create. And let's drag and drop all these images over here. And all right, now let's do some arrangement. So first, select on layer 1 and go to edit, free transform, I'll just make it a little bigger. So holding on alt and shift, let's make it a bigger something like this size. Alright, select on layer 2, just move it under the layer 1 and go to edit, free transform, let's make it a little small. this size and turn on the visibility for layer 3 and let's move it under layer 1 go to edit free transform maybe something like this size let's make the layer 2 a little bigger Let's make a layer 1 a little bigger too. So select a layer 1, edit, free transform, let's make it a little bigger. So this size. Alright, now let's fill the background color with some dark color like this. new layer go to brush so I'm going to use this brush today and if you want to download the brush pack check on the description list below so select on this brush and I'll just change the color to white let's create one more layer Sit here a little down. All right, now let's select the layer one and go to filter, camera filter. And let's increase the exposure a little bit, increase the saddle, decrease the highlights, increase the clarity, and drop down the saturation from orange and red. And let's change the hue. Alright, and select on layer 2, go to filter, camera and filter again. And decrease the highlights, increase the saddles, increase the clarity, increase exposure a little bit. And drop down the saturation, increase the noise reduction a little bit. Insert on layer 3, go to filter, camera filter again. The same thing, increase exposure, increase the size, decrease highlights, increase clarity, 
Please don't lose your doctor for this image. Go to the saturation and drop down the saturation for orange with two. Alright. Now let's apply a color lot. So for that I'm going to click over here and click on color lookup table and from here click on load. So I'm going to use this windy cine D lot and if you want to download this lot check on the description list below. So select this one and click on load. So see how easily we can achieve this cinematic effect on our design. And let's change the opacity a little down. Something like this. And let's add a text. Eighty-eight free trust one. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's change to color to something like this. And select on this text layer and click on layer max. And go to brush and using the same brush, I'm just applying a little texture. Let's make it a little. Let's make it clean white, and let's make it a little smaller. Fourteen. Now let's create a one more layer and go to brush. And this time I'm just using a general brush, and let's change the color to white. Send the blending mode to soft light. Let's decrease the opacity a little bit down. Mm -hmm. Now let's uh, make a copy of this text layer. So for that, click over here and then drag and drop over here. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's move it a little up. So select this. Select this layer, and let's move it a little up. Right now, let's create one ellipse tool over here. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's add a text so and just write 18. And I'll just crop down this size so Select over here. Now let's uh, drag and drop this image over here. Let's bring it all the way down, maybe somewhere over here and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's make it a little bigger. So select on this layer, click on layer max, go to a brush. And let's get rid of this hardness. Go to filter, camera raw filter. And let's decrease the vibrance. Let's expose a little bit more. And increase. 
increase of clarity, maybe something like this. So, alright, now that's the final, and hope you guys learned something new from this video. And see you guys in the next video.